Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to VoiceOver Pro. And today's tutorial, drum roll please. iOS 13, a quick look. We're gonna be um, setting up the voice control. But for those that have vision, if you take a look at my at the video, you will see iOS 13 and dark mode. One of my theories about dark mode that I'm gonna explain right now before we get into video is that since you got an OLED screen and it's and it's uh, powered by each individual pixel, by having screen curtain, you will have you will save more battery turning all those pixels off with screen curtain on. That was the theory behind dark mode, what everybody's talking about. But my theory as being a voiceover user, this is one of my theories. Um, until I upgrade, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. Until I up upgrade, I will be taking a look at that but at this time we're gonna do voice control okay one thing i'm gonna say about the ios 13 every time you swipe or you touch whatever you're doing you're gonna feel haptic feedback and this is a good thing it feels more more good in your hands like you're doing you're pressing something even the screen when you're not even doing 3d touch i have a 3d touch enabled phone but for those that don't, it's gonna be haptic uh, feedback to touch, haptic touch. So let's jump in the video. Let's go to settings. And now accessibility settings is on the main screen of settings. Settings, double tap to open. Settings. Settings, back button. Accessibility, heading. Okay, I'm in accessibility. We're gonna swipe down to to voice control. So let's let's go ahead. Physical and motor heading. Touch button. Switch control. Off voice control. Off button. And uh, you go to physical and motor, and you you navigate by headings if you like to get here faster. Switch voice control. Off button. So let's double double tap. Set up voice control button. And you get a setup screen. Voice control heading. Set up voice control button. And you double tap to set up voice control. Cancel button. Cancel button. Voice control heading. Use your voice to do things on iPhone, even when you're not connected to the internet. System commands and navigation. Open apps by name. Show control center. Adjust the volume. Or take a screenshot. Work with what's on screen. Tap buttons and other items. And ask for more details about what's in view. Dictate and edit text. Extensive controls for dictating and editing text, including placing the cursor. Damn. It, excuse my language. It seems like uh, you could... You can let it know where you want to put the cursor to start typing or dictating again. I'm going to test that out, but not in this video. I'll give you an example in another video. I'm just trying to make a quick short one. I know I'm not trying to hold people up, but let's continue. Voice control requires 250 megabytes of necessary files that will download when you are connected to Wi-Fi. Continue button. What can I say? Head it back. Back button. Cancel button. What can I say? Heading. You can ask Siri to turn on voice control or to wake the screen by saying, hey Siri. Turn off voice control. Execute this command. Turn off voice control. Cancel button. Cancel. Speaking rate. 55 per 50. Show grid. 422. Back. Back button. Okay, guys. I slowed it down for you guys so you could uh, listen a little more. Cancel. What can I say? Heading. You can ask Siri to turn on voice control or to wake the screen by saying, Hey, Siri. Turn on voice control. And at any time, say, show me what to say. System commands and navigation. Open less than application name greater than. Open control center. Control center. Air. And guys, it's getting feedback from VoiceOver to do this because it's already on. Settings. Excuse. Excuse that. Show names. Tab less than number greater than. Tap less than item name greater than. Long press less than item name greater than. Swipe left. Swipe a less than number greater than. Dictate and edit text. Select less than phrase greater than. Move down. Move to end. Delete that. Correct less than phrase greater than. Uppercase that. Copy that. Interact with the device. Turn up volume. Lock screen. Turn up volume. Interact with the device. 
Turn up all lock screen. Take screenshot. Turn on smart invert colors. Open Apple Pay. Continue. Citibank. Hold near reader. Turn on smart invert colors. Open a continue button. Guys, there you go. Sometimes it will set it off, but we went through it. That's some of the voice commands that you could give the iPhone. Okay, so we're on the continue button. Continue button. Double tap. Help improve voice control in Siri. Heading. There you go, guys. Scroll down. Okay, didn't do it. But I just told it to double tap. Double tap. Help improve voice control in Siri. Heading. Swipe right. Swipe right. Help Apple improve voice control in Siri by sharing voice control usage data and samples of your voice commands. Swipe right. Learn more button. Swipe left. Help Apple improve voice control in Siri by sharing voice control usage data and samples of your Stop voice speaking. commands. Swipe right. Learn more button. Swipe right. Swipe right. Allow button. Swipe right. Swipe right. Don't allow button. For now, I'm not going to allow because I want to read what really gets sent out. But I suggest you to look into it, what it sends out, and if you're okay with it, to go ahead and do this. And it's up to everybody's preference and choice. But for now, I'm going to double tap. Accessibility back button. And there you go, guys. A quick view of voice control so it's on voice control heading voice control on okay double tap to toggle set voice control on voice control allows you to use your okay home screen home exit settings Okay, let's see. Set. Okay, guys, a quick view of voice control for iOS, for iOS 13. Open control switcher. So I'm gonna try it again. Open control center. Control center. Airplane mode, switch button off. Use 3D touch to show more controls. Swipe down. Double tap to toggle setting. Actions available. Swipe down. Open controls. Swipe right. Cellular data. Switch button on. Navigate Use down. Use 3D touch to show more controls. Double tap to toggle setting. Navigate down. Navigate down. Okay. So. As you can see, we can open control center and other things. We're going to take a quick look at the notification center. Let's see the different view. Screen recording in progress button. Status bar item. Notific Instagram notification set. This is the no notification center. YouTube Debell grouped 59 minutes ago. Princess Pink's good. So that's why, right? So you could take a look at the today 10 items found widgets and this is the widgets view so guys this is a quick view of voice control for for ios 13. so today so 4 34 p.m status bar item swipe down with three fingers to reveal notifications so we're gonna stop recording and here we go double tap